Oregon is in preliminary talks with the Big Ten. And I know that that sounds a little strange, uh, but the tweet from Brett McMurphy here says, Oregon initiated preliminary discussions in Chicago with the Big Ten to determine if the Ducks are compatible in the Big Ten, source told Action Network. Outgoing UO president, who of course is going to Northwest, uh, Northwestern, excuse me, uh, President Michael Schill, AD Rob Mullins, and Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren not involved in any discussions in Chicago, another source said. Now, first off, I don't think it's that crazy to think that those guys would not be involved in these discussions. If they are, in fact, preliminary, which I do not believe that they are, I believe that these discussions have been going on for a while. If Oregon just now reached out to the Big Ten... I don't know what to tell you. That's ridiculous. As soon as USC and UCLA announced it, or it leaked, or whatever, that should have been something that Oregon jumped on immediately. So I am sure that somebody reached out. And my thought process here is that it's got to be Phil Knight and the people at Nike that have done the initial reaching out to the Big Ten to see what the options are. Now, the Pac-12 has not gotten their media rights negotiation money uh, their their original options back from what we've been told. Uh, they don't know what their initial offers are going to be from ESPN, etc. Now, we did have uh, Jason so I can't, uh, Jason Sheen, maybe? I believe that's who it is over at Wildcat Authority. He came out and said ESPN told the Pac-12 that each school would make $24.5 million in their initial offer. $24.5 million per season which is not where you want to be. I mean, that's that's not even, that's a fourth of, of what these Big Ten teams are making, right? So, uh, my, my question here is, one, why didn't Oregon reach out sooner? Although I'm sure that they probably have. And two, I don't think that McMurphy got this from an Oregon source. I've never known him to break Oregon news, right? That typically seems like something that, Wilner or Canzano, et cetera, would say, in this situation, it seems like, uh, I, I got to find the motivation, but it seems like the Big Ten, or somebody within the Big Ten, is who leaked it to McMurphy. So, what is the motivation for doing that? And I can't figure that out yet. Uh, it says, Oregon Big Ten begin preliminary expansion discussions in Chicago, and he goes through quite a bit of stuff here. But ultimately, it doesn't give us really any indication of what's happening. I know uh, it says Kevin Warren is doing an interview with HBO Real Sports that airs on Tuesday. And you've already heard some of the stuff out there that Kevin Warren thinks that eventually the Big Ten will be 20 teams as opposed to the 16 that it sits at right now with USC and UCLA. But I, I don't. I don't get exactly what the point of this is, unless maybe this is to let Notre Dame know, hey, if you don't hurry up and get involved in this, you may lose a spot. But I don't think that Notre Dame would lose a spot. Just because you're bringing in Oregon doesn't mean that Notre Dame would not be able to come in. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Uh, the other side of this, talking about Phil Knight maybe being involved in this, would Phil Knight and and the guys at Nike possibly be telling uh, the Big Ten, hey, if you bring us in right now, we would take a lower payout, and I, Phil Knight, or Nike, or whoever, would be willing to pay the other portion of that money. I mean, there's all kinds of things that could be going on in these initial discussions. But the bottom line is, this is not crazy. This is not something that's going to happen immediately. It's a big headline, but it doesn't necessarily equate to anything of substance as of right now. And... That's what we're looking for, is something with substance. It, you know, when will this actually happen? I don't think that the Big Ten is going to expand right now after just signing that new deal. Maybe in two years, when USC and UCLA actually join, maybe that makes sense. But as of right now, I don't know that there's anything necessarily to this, and it's nothing that is going to happen uh, anytime soon. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.